friends, it's Carrie here with eatingonadime.com and today in my kitchen we're making mac and cheese and it's even easier because the crock pot does all the work. Hey guys, we are making mac and cheese in the crock pot. If you want the recipe, just go ahead and say recipe below and it should automatically send it to you. Let me get that set up real quick. Yes. Okay, there you go. So all you have to do is say recipe below if you want the link for what I'm going to show you how to make today. It's a good one, friends. Okay, so we are going to make, hold on, there we go. Okay, for those of you who don't know, my name is Carrie with eatingonadime.com. It's the free website where we love our crock pot, but we love primarily, um, my main motto is real food for real families. Um, so not fancy food. We like to make really good food, but it's also food with ingredients that you can find at your local grocery store um, that you can eat every day, but it will taste delicious that you can make it for a holiday. So today we're going to make crock pot mac and cheese. Just drop a recipe below. You'll get the full recipe or you can, um, the link is in the description of this video or you can always go to eatingondime.com to find the full recipe. Okay, so let's get going guys. So we're making crock pot mac and cheese and it's so simple. You do not have to cook the ingredients ahead of time. Ah, give me a heart if you like being as lazy as possible. So we're gonna take a crock pot. Any crock pot will work. I am using my Instant Pot Aurora. Let me go ahead and turn it on. But any, in, any crock pot will work. Now it is the Instant Pot brand, but that doesn't mean it's a pressure cooker. This is actually a slow cooker and you can fry, you can do all kinds of things in this, okay? So we're gonna start off with a pound of elbow noodles, not cooked. That's why I left them in the back box so you could see, okay? So a pound of noodles just dumped right into the bottom of the crock pot and kind of smear it out there. Oh, someone just made, oh yay, Victoria made our candy recipe last night and loved it. Ah, I'm so glad. Okay, so we're gonna put the, the uncooked pasta in the bottom of the slow cooker. This is a six quart slow cooker. Um, I'm, I think a four quart will still work as well. I wouldn't go any smaller than a four or five quart. So we're going to get the butter. Let me get a knife. We're going to do four tablespoons of butter. And I'm just going to kind of cut it and put it over the pasta. So I'm just cutting it in little squares. I'm just using my cream cheese package to cut it. I probably should move this out of the way so you guys can see what I'm doing. Ah. So I'm just putting this over that. This is a simple no boil mac and cheese recipe, okay? So, just like so, I know sometimes it's kind of hard to see. Get that position there. Then we're going to take the cream cheese and cut it up over We're gonna cut it up and put it over on top of the pasta as well. Let me get clean this up, move some stuff out of the way so I can work in here. Oh my goodness, my kids are being loud. Okay, let me know how many kids you got in the below. I wanna know, because I got like a bajillion. <sighs> Maybe a slight exaggeration. Okay, so I'm cutting, I'm just opening up the package of cream cheese, just one block of cream cheese. So this cheese is actually gonna be using three cheeses, so it is a delicious and fun. Remember, if you're needing the full recipe, say recipe below, or the link is in the description, okay? Out of the way. So I'm gonna cut up my cream cheese kind of softened a little bit. It doesn't have to be softened if you don't want to, it can come straight from the fridge. If you don't let it soften, I kind of had it sit down on the counter for a little bit. 
it will, um, uh, you know, it'll be easier to cut if it's fresh from the fridge. Now, I also say do not, like, you don't need to get reduced fat. I mean, this is, this is macaroni and cheese. This isn't your diet food. So go for the full fat cream cheese. It just makes it so much richer and creamier. And if you're making a big old pot of crock pot mac and cheese, you know, it's for some kind of celebration. So enjoy yourself. Okay, now we're going to add salt and pepper. Let me double check. We need two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of pepper. I'm sure it's going to feel like a lot of salt to you, but salt is really what makes a macaroni and cheese good. So don't skip on it. I do use pink Himalayan salt. It's a little bit, you know, a little bit better, heart healthy. Um, but I'm not a doctor, so, you know. Now we're going to do three cups of milk. You can do whole milk. You can pretty much do any milk. Whole milk is going to give you the richest so I have three cups of milk already poured out. We're just gonna pour this right on top. It's gonna feel like you're pouring a lot of stuff in there, but remember, the pasta is gonna cook and soak up all that moisture. Then we're gonna do one cup of heavy cream. Mm. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. So it's going to be very liquid. We're going to put the lid on. We're going to cook on low for one and a half hours. Then 10 to 15 minutes before you're ready to serve it, you're going to stir in. I want to get the correct amounts for you guys. One cup of pepper jack cheese and two cups of sharp cheddar cheese. Now, the reason that I'm telling you to do that I'm showing you the blocks and I'm showing it to you now is because I do not want you to buy pre-shredded cheese, okay? Pre-shredded cheese will not melt smooth and creamy. It will be very stringy. So if you've ever tried to make mac and cheese in the past, you'll find that it's really stringy, not when you pre-shred it. So you're going to open this up and hand shred it with a actual cheese shredder same with this. Now, the pepper jack cheese is super fun because it gives it just a smidgen of a kick. Not a lot of kick because it's only one cup for this, you know, entire, and you're getting double the sharp cheddar cheese. But if you don't want pepper jack, a Monterey jack would be delicious and mozzarella cheese would be delicious. Um, sometimes sharp cheese is, the sharp cheese gives it a real punch as a flavor and the white cheese gives it a delicious creaminess to it. In balance with the cream cheese so that's why we're doing it's very specific the three cheeses that we're doing to make an amazing mac and cheese okay so if you need the full recipe say actually I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and start shredding it if you need the full recipe you'll find that the link is in the description or just drop the word recipe below and we'll send it to you Oh, here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and start shredding it for just a few minutes before we hop off. Now, if you're a per if you're a diehard pre-shredded um, cheese person, I get it, I feel you. But in this situation, it's it's much better for you to go ahead and shred it. And the reason is is the melting factor. So the times. When I, if I want a cheese that's going to melt really good for like casseroles, mac and cheese, um, pizzas, I'm going to hand shred it. If it's pre-shredded, I'm going to use that for things like a taco bar because as it melts, you're going to eat it. It's not, it's not for the main dish. Um, also for like chili or um, a soup. Those would all be when I would want to use a pre-shredded cheese. Now I could still do a hand shredded. I'm, I'm honestly friends, I'm hand shredded all the way unless like we had a big party for my son's birthday and we had a giant taco bar and I just bought 
I had, you know, I was too tired. So I just bought free shredded. Okay, that's it guys. So 10 to 15 minutes, I'm gonna, 10 to 15 minutes before it's ready, I'm gonna go ahead and eat a piece of cheese. And I just dropped the piece. <laughs> 10 to 15 minutes before is when you're gonna stir in these cheeses and it's ready. That's how simple it is. And your crock pot's doing all the work. Honestly, friends, you can make this in the stove top as well if you wanted to. We teach you how to do that on eatingonadime.com. Now the pasta is softened, but it's still kind of chewy. You don't want it to be too soft or it'll just fall apart. So now that that's done, I have one cup of cheddar cheese. It's kind of hard to see, but one cup of cheddar cheese and one cup of pepper jack cheese already shredded. I'm gonna go ahead and finish shredding up my cheddar cheese. So what you want to do when you're measuring your cheese is you shred it and then you put it in the cup and you don't like pack it down, okay? Just for a tip on when you're doing free shredded. So as you can see, it's already soaking up a lot of the moisture. I'm going to dump in the cheese and stir it in. So that's cheddar and the pepper jack and the cheddar. So we're gonna stir this in. I kind of like to just evenly distribute the cheese and then I'm gonna put the lid back on for about 10 minutes. Then I like to taste it and either add some salt or pepper or whatever I think it might need. Or if it's a little too dry, I'll just do a splash of milk in there to help it stay nice and rich and creamy. Thanks so much for joining me today. Remember, you can get the full recipe in the link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more family-friendly recipes.